Welcome to Infracted, where this week we're making a spicy popcorn cauliflower that's also going to have a juicy cheeseburger on the side with some curry crisps. So, you want to get about 200 grams of cauliflower and you're going to want to cut that into popcorn sized pieces. The next step is to get some egg, uh, just one egg and some flour and mix them together to create the batter. To this we're also going to be adding some seasoning. So first we're going to add some pepper and then after that we're going to get some salt. So here we were just adding some cumin. Next we're adding Drogapura. Drogapura is a mix of nutmeg, cinnamon, allspice and star anise has a really strong flavor so you won't need too much. Then we're adding some peppercino just to give it some extra spice. So next you want to just mix the batter thoroughly. And we'll also be adding some corn maize and some milk as well, just to get that consistency perfect. So this is the kind of consistency that we're going to be looking for and following this we are ready to move on to the next stage. So now you just want to add your cauliflower into the batter and you're going to mix that well until it's evenly covered. Bring a pan of oil, I use sunflower here, to a medium heat. We want to then add the battered cauliflower and let them cook until golden brown, tossing occasionally. Into a bowl, add one egg and 200 grams of mince. We used a mixture of beef and pork mince. To this we add oregano, paprika, cumin, salt and pepper in even parts. And then we mix this all thoroughly using our hands. With your hands, shave the burgers and let them rest in the fridge for at least one hour before cooking to keep them firm. With some melted butter in the pan, add your burgers and let them cook undisturbed for four to five minutes per side. Next, place the burger buns in the pan with the melted butter and fry until lightly toasted. Perfect. With your cauliflower golden brown, remove onto a bowl with kitchen roll to absorb any excess oil.
Once all of the cauliflower has been removed, you want to turn the frying pan up to a high heat setting, to which you're going to be adding some thinly sliced potatoes. In our case, we used two potatoes. Remove the potato slices when crisp and golden brown similar to this. Add salt and curry powder to the crisps and toss well before plating. When the burger is cooked on both sides, add a slice of cheese. In this instance we used Grana Padano, a cheese from Northern Italy. You then want to cover the top of the frying pan and leave it for 2 minutes to ensure that the cheese melts properly. Add the condiments of your choice to the burger. Here we used ketchup, mayo and minced raw red onion to complement this type of burger. Prior to plating the cauliflower in a separate bowl, mix them with 2 tablespoons of a hot sauce of your choosing. Add your curry crisps to the plate and serve. Thank you for watching our first video. Be sure to subscribe for future recipes and feel free to leave any suggestions in the comments below.